What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to set up your ClickMagic campaigns, which is an awesome new feature that ClickMagic created that allows you to track your landing page. So before you had to use a tracking link, which had a redirect, now you can use the same landing page link that you have or website or funnel link. You just add some parameters to it and that's it. You can use that uh, to track your ads. So super awesome, doesn't require redirects, super Google ads friendly. Um, let's get into it, okay? So here we are in our ClickMagic account. You may see something that looks like this if you didn't have anything uh, where they give you step one, step two, and step three, okay? Now I am using Unbounce here as my landing page builder, but just follow the steps here and add the code regardless of where you're adding it to. So in our case, we have this, um, we have the landing page and then we have the sales page. So if we click on a landing page, it's gonna look like this. So let's suppose we wanna track this, we wanna track how many people click here, and then we wanna track how many people sign up. How do you do that? That's the question, okay? So we're gonna set that up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we have to add code, okay? So let's look at step one. So the first thing we have to do is add code to the thank you page and to our landing page, okay? So both of these, we have to add code to both of them. So I'm going to click edit here so I can edit the landing page and I'll click edit here so I can edit the thank you page and we have to add two separate codes here, okay? That's the first thing we have to do. So this is our thank you page, this is our landing page. So let's head over to Click Magic Campaigns and let's click on website code. This is the code that we have to add to our landing page, okay? So we're simply gonna copy it. We only put this on the landing page, okay? Keep that, keep that in mind, remember this. You're only adding this to the landing page, not to your entire website like you do with a Facebook pixel, only on your landing page, okay? Wherever you're taking people to. If you have different landing pages, like you are taking people to the home page and also you're running ads to a pricing page, that's okay. You can add this code to the pricing page too, okay? but just don't add it everywhere. So now that we've done that, let's go back to our landing page. Let's open JavaScript here and let's add a new JavaScript. And we're gonna add it here. Now, I already had one set up from earlier. Uh, we can delete it probably, we don't need that. So we can go ahead and just add this code right here. We are gonna add it in the head section. So whatever landing page builder you're using, ClickFunnels, lead pages, uh, Instapage, InstaBuilder, find the area where you can add the code and add it to the head section, okay? And then let's name this Click Magic Campaigns Code. We're gonna add that, we're gonna click done, and that is it for the landing page. We're pretty much done. Let's do the same thing for our thank you page. Just waiting for it to publish real quick. I will open this page, so I'm gonna control click it so it opens in a new tab. And let me go over here. Um, now we have to add the code to our thank you page. So we're gonna go here and click on conversion tracking code. And now it's asking, what do we wanna track? Do we wanna track an action, engagement, or a sale? So you tell me, when someone signs up, is that a sale? Not in my case, okay? And something off weird seems to be going on here. Um, but it's not a sale, it's either an engagement or an action. In our case, and usually the way it works is, we go from left to right. So the first action someone does is sign up. So the action is the first option. Then if they go to a sales page or some other page, we can track that as an engagement. And then if someone buys, we can track that as a sale, okay? But we're just gonna select action here. We could enter a ref value here, like sign up, but this isn't necessary. So you could add this um, depending on if you have many different actions maybe. Let's say you have sign up A and then sign up B and then sign up C, maybe you can do that. In our case, we just have the one sign up, so we can leave it blank, really, doesn't matter. But we have this, so now we're gonna copy it to clipboard. We're gonna go back to our thank you page. Again, we're gonna add a new JavaScript. We can delete, sorry, delete this one. We don't need that, and let's paste it here. Let's select the head section, and let's say click magic campaigns, but let's specify and say that this is an action. And you will also see that there's an action right there because there's an A there, and you will see your ref value sign up right there, okay? So let's click done. We'll click save and we'll click publish. Now, we're pretty much done, but not quite. We still have to take this URL and we have to add certain parameters to it so that we can actually track it, okay? Because aside from that, we can't track it. So we go here, um, let's go on to step two. So we've added the code everywhere, that's perfect. 
Now we have to use the campaign's URL builder. So let's click here. And now we have to add our URL. Now it's already pre-added because I've added it before in my previous video, but we're going to be adding it here. So just copy paste your landing page URL. Okay, that's the URL we'll be promoting. So whatever URL you're promoting, paste it right here. Okay, so again, I'm going to copy that. Control C, paste. Now we have to enter these parameters. I suggest you watch this video by clicking here to see some best practices for uh, adding these parameters. There are a few for using these UTM uh, fields. The first three are required and the last two, they are optional. So these two, they're completely optional. You don't have to use them for it to work, but you can if you want additional information, okay? So let's suppose we're promoting on Google Ads and I'll be making videos on what to do for all these networks. It's pretty simple though. So you would type in then Google here and it saves. Notice that it's it's saved depending on if you added it before. Let's say we're using Google search or let's say Google display. We can say display and it's gonna be a display campaign. What is the campaign name? In this case, it's custom keto diet. Again, we have it pre-selected because we've already created it. If you don't, just make it up, okay? Just write whatever you want. For the UTM term, these two are optional, so these two are only, uh, they only apply if you want to get some additional information. So let's suppose we do want to use this keyword token, okay? And I'm gonna get, again, I'm gonna get into this in, uh, in the specific video for Google, for example, and then for Facebook, it's gonna be different. But basically, this is going to change, and instead of showing keyword, it's gonna show the actual keyword that triggered it. So it's not gonna be in, bra in these squiggly brackets, it will actually show the real keyword, okay? I'll, I'll tell you where to see that. And then optional name here, you can uh, specify your ad. So for example, this is gonna be red image, you know, uh, question call to action, for example, or not call to action probably, but question headline for instance, okay? Something like this, just so you could identify your ad because you want to be able to um, look at your ClickMagic campaigns and see what made the sale, right? So we've done that. Let's click on save and copy URL. And now if we go to URL manager, we should see this URL saved so we don't have to re-enter it, okay? Uh, oops, and now we lost it. What do you do? Go to URL manager and it's right here. We can click copy. Now we can test it and let's see if this is working. So I'm gonna open a new tab here. I'm gonna paste and go. And here it is. So the first thing we should see is we should see a visitor, okay? We should see a visitor for this ClickMagic campaign. So if we go to campaigns, if we select our project here from the top, we see a visitor, awesome. Okay, let's keep going and let's type in, for instance, Yvonne, Yvonne at gmail.com. Let's click next. And we should see an action here because we added that action conversion, right? So we should, unless something went wrong. I don't know, let's refresh and see if it's there or not. Okay, so it is here. We did everything correctly, good, because there are videos where I have to go back and figure out what's wrong. Uh, but in this case, everything looks good. So that's it. We've set up our ClickMagic campaigns correctly, successfully. Uh, if you want to add more, you just go here and you say website code and you will add your conversion code on other pages, right? Like a sales page or, or a sales confirmation page, you would add a sales code, okay? Now, if you want to go back to the website URL builder, you click here and you can um, add your, your uh, change your URL, like if you want Facebook ads, right? So let's do one more thing. Let me show you one more example here because we're pretty much done. But let me show you how this actually will look like when we're done. So let's say CPC and let's say also, uh, we'll say custom keto diet. So we can click save and copy and now this should be in our URL manager and that's this link right here. So let's go ahead and click on that and then paste it here and try that, try this again. So actually we, I, I won't sign up here just so I can show you what it's gonna look like. Let's go back to campaigns. And here we see two visitors in one action, okay? So one out of the two people signed up, if you recall, we just, didn't sign up on this last one, but you can filter based on these sources now, right? So the sources that we did, you can filter. Now we set up the campaign. That's one of the best practices is to keep the names consistent. So we can target, you know, all campaigns under custom keto debt, whether it's under Facebook or not. So if you have the same campaign running on five different ad networks, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Ref Content, Tabula, you name it, you can target by campaign and see how that campaign is doing, right? So that's pretty cool. And then you just see everything. So let's see, hey, I, I wonder how my Facebook is doing. Let's click Facebook. Oh, well, Facebook only has one visitor. Let's see how Google is doing. Oh, well, Google has one visitor and one action and then one sale if you set it up, okay? That's pretty much it. That's how you set up uh, ClickMagic campaigns. If you have any questions, let me know. 
do you want to do you want me to create a video on click shield rules on update ad spent on um post back url how to set up post back urls with campaigns let me know down below if you want me to make videos on that and i shall as per your request aside from that we're pretty much good to go this is how you create click magic campaigns in the next few videos i'll quickly show you how to set up um Quick Magic campaigns with all these different ad networks, Facebook, Microsoft, and Google, and we should be good to go. I will see you soon.